So do you want to be a senior developer or increase your seniority? You know, this is one of the top uh, objectives from developers, because especially because you know the more senior you are, uh, the more interesting projects you get to work on. Uh, you might make more money because you can work uh, even on more interesting companies. And so I was reading an article this week by Jacob Harrington, and Jacob uh, uh, did a cool interview with Ben Iligbatu, Iligbodu. And Ben is a Microsoft MVP, and uh, he works for Eventbrite. He's a senior developer, uh, senior engineer at Eventbrite. And so on this interview, um, Ben was talking about uh, some skills that you should have uh, you know, to become, to increase your seniority or to become a senior developer. And so I decided to, to, to talk, I'll, I'll put a link to this article uh, on the description below and I, I, I think you should check it out. But uh, I wanna give you like concrete tips that you can apply today to your, in your project to actually get the three abilities that Ben talks about, right? So the first ability that he talks about is uh, the ability to develop quickly. And I know that a lot of people kind of think that, that senior developers develop like very fast, and some of them do, right? You know, um, but and and I, and Ben alludes to this on the interview when he talks about that it's not the speed of development by itself, right? It's actually, you know, not doing a lot of mistakes, right? Not having to correct things a lot, and actually getting to the solution faster. And and I think that. Uh, um, you know, there is a, there is a, a very, very, there's a, there's a few things that you can do uh, to develop a code faster. And the first of all, it's very obvious, but a lot of people don't, don't really do, is you got to know your IDE, right? You know, senior developers, they, uh, they are very, very good at uh, navigating the IDE, navigating the source code, understand where things are, right? Because, it, it, because, you know, you, you shouldn't be spending time, actually your brain shouldn't be spending time thinking about, oh, you know, what is, what is the, uh, the, 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 key, the keys that I need to do to, 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 you know, to open up, and, uh, to, you know, to, to refactor the code, for example, or, or anything. You know, if, you, if your brain spends time with these little things, then you don't have time to actually think about the problem that you're doing, think about the code that you're writing. So, I think this is an important one. Um, another thing that you can do is uh, that's very, very practical is to run, to, to experiment with code katas. Code katas are little exercises that will help you get the main things in programming uh, on the top of your head. You know, the, th the main thing is to develop quickly. You gotta have your brain ready to think about the problem all the time, right? But if your brain's thinking about how do I do, how do I integrate over a collection? Or how do I, you know, do any of these obvious things that I should know how to do, but, you know, and I have to remember that. If you, if you have to do this, then it slows down your development, right? But it, on the other hand, if you, if, you, if you do some code katas and you experiment with that and, and you get this very, very, uh, very easy to your brain to access, then you can spend more time thinking about the problem, less time thinking about the boilerplate code, whatever uh, language you're using. And then what happens is that you end up developing quickly and you know, more correct because you're thinking more about the problem and not about uh, the mechanics of software development, right? So, you know, so do code katas, uh, be very good at IDE. Those are two things that you should, that you should practice uh, to make sure that, um, that you can that you can speed up uh, your, your software development process. The other thing that Ben talked about was that you should uh, uh, find the ideal solution. You know, you have the ability to find the ideal solution fast, right? And this is, you know, this is like solving problems. You know, solving problems, uh, uh, it's an important skill for software developers, right? So, you know, being able to solve different, different problems is very important. And you know, doing code katas is going to help you this with this. But another interesting thing uh, that you that you should you should work with is understanding design patterns. Design patterns are 
things that, uh, uh, you know, they'll help you because design patterns are design patterns, as the name implies, right? They are, they are, they are, they solve their patterns to solve some kind of problems. And you knowing design patterns, what's going to happen is that it's, you know, you can apply the correct solution to your problem uh, much faster and, 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 and get to the correct solution um, a lot better. So, you know, take a look um, at, some, at some design patterns, understand what they are, uh, understand how to apply them uh, to your projects. All of this is going to help you really uh, um, horn in into the right solution. And then, you know, get yourself in the habit of trying to find solutions to problems. You know, this whole ability of problem solving, you know, of finding the ideal solution, it, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's something that your brain needs to practice all the time, right? So, for example, if, you, uh, you know, if you're walking around on the street and you look around you, try to find problems and propose solutions to that in your head, right? You know, keep your, you know, when you're, when you're on a meeting, for example, in your company, try to propose solutions and see what other people tell you about you know, if those solutions work or not. Discuss with other people when you go to lunchtime, um, you know, discuss with other people what kind of solutions you could use uh, to certain different problems, right? You know, this ability to be thinking at uh, uh, problems and solutions to problems is extremely important for you as a developer, right? So, you know, the more you practice this, the more you, uh, uh, you get your brain ready to do those things, the better it's gonna be, right? And the third thing that Ben talks about in this interview is, you know, uh, that senior developers have the ability to teach others and help others grow. And this is sharing, right? So, you know, uh, uh, this, is, this is important, right? You know, a, a senior developer is a, a team player. And, and it's, you know, uh, it grows, you grow faster when your team grows faster, right? So. If you know something, if you know some technology that you can, you can uh, uh, present your team so your team can learn that faster, uh, if you uh, understand something that other people in your team doesn't, don't understand, if you can, if you can write your code uh, in a way that other people can read it, right? All of those are ways that you can teach other people how to become better, right? You know, how, how to um, do uh, what you're doing right faster you know because if you help them if you help them do what you're doing faster what happens is that your whole team grows and you as a result you grow a lot too right and the cool thing about sharing and helping others is that the more you're seen as a team player uh by your by your team uh by your manager uh by your company when they see you as a team as a good team player because you're helping others a lot that it's you know it's it's um, it's an external proof of seniority, right? So that's that's going to help you a lot uh, with that, right? So you know so those are some some concrete. So so I mean to share, right? Get something you know, and and go and go explain to that, right? Maybe a, a, a presentation you watch it, uh, maybe some video you watch it on YouTube. Maybe you're going to talk about this video that you just watch it right now, and and explain to other people, show them. Uh, the things that you know and help them uh, be as as good as you are, right? Uh, or actually, even better than you are, because then you, then you're going to be uh, uh, working on a great team that everyone is better than you, and that's a, it's a, a, fun, a fantastic way to grow. So, uh, you know, those are what I loved about uh, this conversation between Jacob and Ben is that you know Ben end, ended up talking about three of the five things that I consider to be uh, the five basic skills of software developer, right? If you wanna see, you know, they, they didn't touch, touch on two of them, but that's okay. And if you, do, if you wanna see uh, what the five are, uh, I'm gonna put a link on a video here somewhere um, that you can check out uh, the, five, the five skills. And, uh, you know, make, sh go sh make sure that you go and, and read uh, the article and, 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 you know, listen to the whole interview because uh, that's going to help you a lot become a senior developer. So I'm Bruno Souza, and um, I'm, I'm always helping you uh, improve your career and become a better developer. Thank you.